International Criminal Police Organization, Interpol, has announced it uncovered a sophisticated COVID-19 face mask fraud scheme. Interpol, in a press statement explaining the scheme, said in mid-March, German health authorities contracted two sales companies in Zurich and Hamburg to procure 15 million euro, about 6.3 billion naira worth of face masks due to global shortage of medical supplies. According to Interpol, the fraud scheme started with an email address and website linked to a legitimate company in Spain selling face masks. They said through email. They said through email correspondence. The company, the company initially claimed to have 10 million masks only for the delivery to fall through. As a consolation, they then referred the buyers to a trusted dealer in Ireland. The Irish middleman promised to put them in touch with a different supplier, this time in the Netherlands. The new supplier in Netherlands, according to the scammer, was capable of supplying the needed 10 million face marks, but we need an upfront payment of 15, 1.5 million euro, about 631 million 210,863 naira for an initial delivery of 1.5 million. The buyers initiated a bank transfer to Ireland and prepared for delivery, which involved 52 lorries and a police escort to transport the mask from a warehouse in the Netherlands to the final destination in Germany. Just before the delivery date, the buyers were informed that the funds had not been received and that an emergency transfer of 880,000 euro straight to the Dutch supply was required to secure the merchandise. Interpol recalled, Sensing something fishy, the buyers immediately contracted the bank in Germany which relayed the development to the Interpol's financial crimes unit. Interpol, in the chase for the money, engaged banks, financial intelligence units and judicial authorities as well as partner organizations Europol and Eurojust. Interpol contracted its National Central Bureau in Dublin as well as the Irish Bank, prompt intervention by the Garda National Economic Crime Bureau allowed them to freeze the 1.5 million in the accounts and identify the Irish company involved. The Dutch Fiscal Information and Investigation Service tracked down the 880,000 euro transfer from the German company. Of the total, of the total sum, nearly 500,000 euro of those funds had already been sent to the United Kingdom, UK, and destined to be credited to an account in Nigeria. They adapted their sales pitches to take advantage of strained supply chains and generate huge profits. I can only salute the quick work of both the private and public authorities involved. Interpol will continue its work on the case and the many others like his in close cooperation with all of our partners. Interpol chief stated, Two suspects, according to Interpol, has been arrested in the Netherlands. Why more arrests are likely as the investigation proceeds? Hmm. Nigeria. Which one can be Nigeria one for inside this one now? That's it. And uh, five of the total sum, nine, nearly 500,000 euro of those funds had been had already been sent to the United Kingdom and destined to be credited to an account in Nigeria. But I'm not sure whether it has been credited to Nigeria, but they, have, they are seeing the pattern that at the end of the day, the part of the money will land in Nigeria. Hey! These people, eh? <laughs> Something is going on, so, eh, going, going on in this country. Something is going on in this world, not even in this country. Something bigger than what the ordinary man can see, ordinary person can see. Going on, you can imagine from, from ah! This, this, these people that are involved in this thing, eh, they are, they are really done. They are done. They are professionals. From this place to this place. Hmm. Oh my goodness. But I don't think the money has landed in Nigeria. In my opinion, you know, concerning based on what we are getting. But you know, anything can happen. Anything can really happen. You know, 
not quite long we did a video of a uh, in nigeria in the u.s because at the end of the day they want to put everything on nigeria uh on nigeria or anybody from nigeria or as they may trace it but it's not as if there's anything that is too difficult or it's too uh it's impossible but one thing is that like i always say this kind of a thing they want to project it but we know that nigerians are doing tremendous things which we talked about in some of the video we did uh in nigeria who has just been made the uh, chief surgeon in the u.s in the hospital in the u.s so you say it's, it's kudos so it's 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 all of this kind of a thing you know i really expect it but at the end of the day they will want to paint the whole thing but whichever way let's see how they are going to get their uh, investigation done and they should do it properly interesting tell me more yeah someone said tell me more say they are not sure of the story or of their story every bad thing is in nigeria please stop destroying our images destined to be credited to an account in nigeria but not yet credited just like i said how they trace an account to nigeria when it was yet to be credited to nigeria you can imagine destined <laughs> but not it's not being credited but destined to be credited to nigeria uh is it nigeria they want to scam or uk uh, that's a big question opportunities for scammers but how can a company do such transaction without seeing or sending any of their workers to meet up with the warehouse containing the said face fact mask what will it cost them someone say hmm, if they play if they show okay coronavirus is a scam to make scammers get richer i'm not surprised people are dying and some people are about to defraud a country of that big amount of money. Anybody that is involved in that scam should be exposed and get arrested by the Interpol. All this is bringing bad name. All this is to bring bad name to the country. All these Yahoo Plus boys are destroying the image of country of the country. The bank that the money is transferred to must have the uh, uh, must know the person or that received the money and it could be stopped now they should know the people and it needs to be stopped and what are the incompetent looters i mean leaders bringing the country to they are not the roots yahoo boys are the symptoms so you treat the roots and the symptoms will fly away okay i think this person is trying to say that okay the yahoo boys could be the symptoms but the root cause of all of those things are the looters you know at times they eh, People tend to talk down on and these boys that say, uh, you know, they are told all this say uh, Yahoo Plus or Yahoo, they call them. But the biggest ones, hey, the biggest ones, they are in government parastata in this country. The biggest ones, they are, I think all this say uh, Yahoo Plus or whatever they call them, they are just learning when it comes to our politicians. Majority of our politicians, when it comes to them, because it's not all of them, we still have some people that are really, you know, that are really upright. But majority of them, they are, they are worse than all these boys that we are even talking about. Do you know what, what get you know get lost in a, in the in the in the country's coffer every day in Nigeria? Hmm, don't go there. Someone says here that uh, hmm, where is Nigeria in this story? Someone says international fraud. I am thinking corrupt politicians in government might be involved in this international crime. We should all join hands to salvage this country. Crime is a negative label which affect our relationship with the global community hmm. nigeria no they carry last of course until they get to the root of the matter we cannot just say uh, conclude because like they said that the money uh, is destined to 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 land in nigeria accounts is destined but i don't think it has landed it's just destined <laughs> you know that's a funny funny word that is destined to land in nigeria uh, accounts let them do their in investigation thoroughly. Nobody is going to be speaking on behalf of anybody or to be supporting or be defending anybody. You know, anything can happen, which is which is normal. But they should do their investigation thoroughly. And they should not just be assuming because at the end of the day, it's just, if they want to bring everything that, oh, it is Nigeria. Of course, nothing can be ruled out. Let us see how everything will land. But of course, you know, when things are really, when you talk about, uh, you know, when you talk about, what is it called, when people are talking about four 
uh, scarcity. A lot of people will be suffering. And in that means you see a lot of people smiling to the bank. You see a lot of people enjoying it. They will just like, oh, let this scarcity continue. It happens like that. And with this kind of thing, everybody is afraid. Some people are just somewhere smiling to the bank. They are smiling. A lot of fraud will be going on. You would think, you know, because a lot of people will just be... They will be carried away. A lot of people, they are in panic, fear here and there. People will not even be able to reason. They just want to get this. They want to get that. Just like somebody was asking, that how can the company just... They will not send their representatives to go and get something done. What will it take them that they are sending, you know, making, doing all those kind of transactions of that uh, big uh, money? You know, everybody is just panicking. Any little thing, you would think that those who are smart. But when fear begins to set in, people who ordinarily would, that wouldn't have done such thing, you know, you just see them, you just forget a lot of things. So it happens like that. So let the Interpol do their job and let's see what we'll land, where it will land at the end of the day. So guys, leave your comment below and let's have your take.